let's have a look if we're researching anything. So we are now researching a corkscrew for the stand-up roller coaster. So, and our last development was a steel corkscrew roller coaster. So we, I didn't realize we got a new roller coaster. So we've got a new roller coaster. That is a steel corkscrew. Now I really would love to make a corkscrew roller coaster, but I can't really see much space where we could add it. Maybe here for a relatively small ride. Maybe this end of the park. Or we could wait for the stand up roller coaster to have a corkscrew. We can add, add a corkscrew to this section of the ride. We've had a few uh, breakdowns while we've been talking about this. So that one's fine, this one's fine, and uh, this one's all fine. So I think, our, oh no, we're still waiting for uh, someone to come for this one. Someone is uh, fixing it, that's good. So it appears our sections of the park that we've changed everything to has helped. Now we've just unlocked a corkscrew for the stand-up roller coaster. So what I would like to do is actually edit and change our mine, runaway minecart in order to have a corkscrew. Now, let's have a look at what we can have. I want to do it just after this first loop and maybe another one around there. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to corkscrew to the right and then we're going to corkscrew to the right again. Now unfortunately, because the uh, size of the roller coaster, we're going to have to change it slightly. There's two, basically, it's a corkscrew, two corkscrews to a right. We're going to do a loop to the right again. Take a photo. And then we're going to go all the way up to that uh, 26 foot again. Let's have a test of that. So it's very similar to the previous one. We've just got a, um, a quicker turn, and it's actually an upside down turn which makes it more fun. And whilst we're waiting for that, we see that June Buggy Races 2 has broken down, which is a shame. But hopefully we've got a mechanic on the job. Yeah, we've got someone answering a radio call, and he's, he's going to be there soon. And our runaway minecart seems to be doing quite well. Hopefully its test results come in uh, positive. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's better than it, what it previously was. I'm uh, hoping it definitely isn't. I'm really hoping it's not worse than it was before. Because uh, it wasn't that exciting. But its intensity was medium. Which was fine. In fact, it's increased. I think it's going to be a lot more better. A lot more fun for everyone that goes on the ride. Let's open it up now. Hopefully people will be going on it. In fact, what we'll do is we'll advertise for the ride, uh, what's it called, Runaway Minecart, for three weeks. We'll do a half ride entry to the park for the same three weeks. Oh, hopefully people will like seeing the adverts, going on the ride, and getting half price entry to the park. Unfortunately, people aren't going on the ride. But let's have a look why. They think it's too much to go on the uh, ride. Fair enough, fair enough. If we reduce it to £1.50, see how many people go on the ride now. There we go, we've got a lot more people going on the ride. That's good. Dynamo is still doing well, and I think Dynamite Blaster is doing quite well, especially since we uh, changed the price of admission. Uh, our Sand Falls is doing really quite well, but in fact I'm going to change the name of Sand Falls. I think Sand Falls sounds a bit strange, especially for a water ride, so I'm going to call it Snake Falls, because obviously snakes in the desert. 
and it's a, it's a log flume, so it's going to be falls. So we're going to have snake falls. So the Sahara slide is just broken down. Let's hopefully see if we've got a mechanic on it. Good job, he's already pretty much there. So this, these mechanics are doing quite well for answering these calls and getting to the uh, to the rides quite fast. I can't see much uh, sick on the path at the moment. So quite a tidy park. It's very busy, which is unfortunate for anyone going today to the park. But anyway, uh, let's have a look what else we've got in development. So we just had the corkscrew for our stand-up roller coaster. We've added to our uh, runaway minecart ride, and people are going on the ride right now. And next, we're going to get a new shop or store. Oh, in fact, we're going to get a souvenir store. And we can sell, uh, I believe, teddy bears, t-shirts, and umbrellas. No, I think it's teddy bears and umbrellas. T-shirts is in Relic of Second 2. So we're going to get a souvenir store. Hopefully we can sell a lot of souvenirs and get a lot of money. Oh, we've got some sick down here. Where is our closest handyman? Cannot see him. Let's find our handyman that doesn't really use much. Put him here. So, some people are going on the Berserk top spin. I'm quite surprised. Uh, especially because it's got a very high nausea rating. It's only got a medium excitement rating and it's got a high intensity rating. Uh, people, though, people seem to be queuing up for it and enjoying it. People are also queuing up for uh, beginner's luck, and quite a few people are going on intensify. They all seem to have relatively different excitement ratings, nausea ratings, etc. So obviously, the beginner's luck is not exciting as much, but they all have quite a high nausea rating. These, both these go-kart tracks seem to be doing really well. I'm tempted to make another one, or maybe even two go-kart tra tracks, very similar to that, just to allow people to race each other and uh, have some fun. It's over here. Got big rides going around and around. I think we're doing quite well. We're on track to win. We just got over a thousand guests, and our park racing is 795, which has decreased slightly, but uh, you can understand why, because we did have so much sick everywhere. And if I make sure our handymen are collecting all the sick, we'll do well. Okay guys, so we just unlocked the souvenir store. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set one up at our uh, uh, food court Let's see what we can sell so they sell cuddly toys we get one pound profit from them we also sell umbrellas which is one pound profit which means a cuddly toy is two pound fifty and it's three pound for an umbrella now we're already selling umbrellas for three pound at the information kiosk so I think that's a good price we'll open that one up at the um, food court and we'll also add another one at the start of the park near the balloon store because we've had we've got uh, to make sure people get know where to get food where to get maps and stuff straight away as they walk into the park and even though we're losing some space to add, add things I think what I want to do is try and add a corkscrew roller coaster 